Go love your own enemies. Don't be loving mine. My enemies are the theocratic fascists. I, I don't love them. I want to destroy them. child made in the image of God. Oh no, you're not. You're a faggot. And you can't join your church and you can't go to heaven. This is disgraceful. It's inhuman. So I did a video a few days ago. Michelle Obama is a man? Question mark, question mark, question mark. And I had somebody, Yoko somebody, uh, make a comment that I looked like a menopausal train wreck. So I guess because I'm older, I look like a train wreck. And then the same person went on to say, well, just look at her nose, your great big nose, and her mole, the mole on her nose. That's right. If you have a big nose, <laughs> and if you have a mole on top of having a big nose, and if you're over a certain age or I, I almost have to say you can be younger but if you're not attractive you fall into the same category you're just not worth it you what are you doing putting your opinions on online if you're not attractive you know this is the mentality this person who didn't have the guts to show her, his or her face you notice when you have comments like this that are really hurtful it's either the anonymous little symbol, a little circle with a little wedge under it, or it's a picture of something. It's not the actual person's face. They can sit there and criticize others for not appearing the way they think a woman should appear. They can criticize. But they're hiding their face. They're not, they're not opening themselves up for a possible rebuttal. I find that very cowardly. You know, these people that attack others and say, well, you're ugly, or you're fat, or you're old, or you're, you, you have a funny way of talking, or, or you have a mole. Funny, you never see their pictures. And then you look at the mentality of the people that make up these comments, and you know, they're either incredible, well, they're probably going to vote for Donald Trump if they're adults, or their children. They got on mommy and daddy's computer. Yeah! That's the thing. This is the mentality that would vote for Donald Trump. I just saw a poll today that he is pulling ahead of Hillary Clinton. It makes me want to puke. It's so disgusting that this man has enough people supporting him. Really? It was just a big thing about Scotland and comments he was making in the middle of this historical thing with Scotland about his golf course and he and he said things to imply that he had absolutely no idea what the issue was with Scotland and he's going to be running the country he was more interested in his golf course than something that's a really big huge world world event world thing that affects something that could affect the whole world and certainly all of Europe, a big chunk of Europe, certainly a, a whole country. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, golf courses are like countries, he says. Really. And people, women, would vote for this man who thinks that only beautiful women really matter. You have to be beautiful. If you're not beautiful, you really don't have any value in this country or in this world why are you even alive i mean that's the kind of mentality this piece of shit yoko person had today when he wrote me this note or he wrote a note about me i apparently just don't deserve to be alive why am i even breathing air because i am not young and i am not physically beautiful <laughs> you know i have a mall Gee, why didn't I just shoot myself in the head when I got a gun? <laughs> Shit, I have a mole. Why am I even alive?
Why do I even bother getting up in the morning? I have a mole on my nose and my nose is too big. Or I could be like, oh, you know what? I, I want to look like something that I'm not. I'm going to spend a whole lot of money to make myself look like what, they, what women look like in magazines. So people will think I'm beautiful. Let's pretend for the rest of our lives that we're something that we're not. Or, or maybe let's just be happy with who we are and happy that we have a nose. We're happy that we have a face because some people don't even get to have a nose or a face at all. And they have to go through their entire lives being horribly disfigured. Gee, maybe I should be happy with the fact that I am not horribly disfigured, but I actually do have a face. And you know what's even more amazing? I'm finally to the point where I don't put makeup on every day used to be a slave to makeup because I didn't think I was beautiful. I didn't think that, you know, I wanted to disguise the fact that I was ordinary. I wanted to try to make myself as beautiful as I could. That's what I was obsessed about for such a huge part of my life. My looks. Because I wasn't born blessed genetically. I had to do everything and everything in my power to try to make myself conform to what the media wanted women to look like. Does that take courage or does that take cowardice? The person who hides behind makeup and tries to conform and tries to be popular because they don't have the guts to be themselves and true to who they really are and say fuck you to the Yokos out there who think that they're sitting there and able in some kind of position to judge others when they don't even fucking show their own face with whatever faults they might have which believe me they do and there's faults that are hidden that can't be fixed by makeup or special kind of lighting or filters in the camera personality there are things that you just cannot fix with surgery and one of them is personality and the personality that would attack a complete stranger for her looks or her age or her weight or whatever without even showing their own face oh I think you know what I think I'm going to go online and hurt somebody's feelings today. Yeah, that'll make me feel feel really, really good. It'll make me feel superior. Maybe this person is the kind of person that needs to pull down others to feel better about themselves. Maybe that's the kind of person that would write this kind of note. Unfortunately, they do hurt. I think it's Bionic Dance who no longer has. I really thought she was a very attractive woman. I enjoyed her and I loved the different things she did with her hair. She is not on YouTube anymore because enough people like this dragged her down to the point she just didn't want to be made her make herself a target anymore. So now she puts animations up with her voice. And Robin uh, Reed, I'm sorry, I want to. Robin Dupre Reed. I I haven't been following YouTube a lot because I've been I've been writing my book, but I understand now she's retired. Let's see, she's an older woman. She's my age approximately. She's retired. Wonder why. Did did she maybe get tired of dealing with people that were criticizing her for being older? <gasps> a menopausal train wreck. Here's a newsflash for anybody who thinks that menopause has anything to do with a person's worth. I'm not having menopause. Yeah. In fact, I'm old enough that I'm beyond that. I am. It's a thing of the past. I went through menopause. It was horrible. And, you know, attacking somebody for having something they can't help physically is, you know, really very uncool. Would you attack somebody for having cancer or being mentally ill? And why do you think it's okay to attack somebody who is going through menopause? Have you gone through menopause? Do you have any idea how uncomfortable it is? 
to go through menopause? And aging, newsflash, aging is not the most wonderfully fun experience either. It's hard. It is. And one day, this Yoko person will be old too. And gee, I guess by their definition of what, what makes a person have value, they will no longer have any value anymore. Even if they don't have a mole on their nose, or even if their nose isn't big. You know what? I did not get to pick who my parents were. I did not get to pick what genetics I, was, I would be given when I was born. I just was. I had two parents. They got together. I was created. I'm glad to be alive. I'm glad to be enjoying life. I'm glad to have a mind and I'm able to think and have an opinion and share my opinion and feel passionate about certain things in my world. I'm glad that I care about my country enough to post videos. And I'm glad that I care enough about people to get indignant when other people are attacked. That makes me a worthy person in my opinion. I think I'm a worthy person because it bothers me. I think the ones that really are questionable are the ones that see atrocities or see people being attacked verbally or otherwise and they don't care. They look the other way. Oh well, whatever. People who get numbed out. I'm so sick of this this mentality in my country and it's fucking taking it over this mentality. Any country that is so fucking stupid to, to want this blowhard Donald Trump leading it, I'm sorry, but America, if, if we bring this piece of shit into office running our country, it means that the majority of Americans voted for him. And sadly, sadly, the rest of us who have a brain are going to get to watch a country that we that we love die because that's what's going to happen to this country it will die trump will destroy america and certainly he already has destroyed what little respect other people in other countries might have still had for this country he's destroyed that and not just him but the people who would support him the fact that there's so many of them it's a joke. America is now a joke because of people like that. And it's unsettling to think that there, there, are, that there are that many people like that in this country. It's unsettling to look at the news and see that there are people that actually believe that gays, gay people are, are evil, bad abominations that deserve to be tortured forever. There's people in this country who still, who still call black people niggers. There's still people in this country who think interracial marriage is wrong. There's still people in this country who think creationism is real and that the earth is only 6,000 years old. It's embarrassing. It's humiliating. And now this thing with Trump being ahead in the polls, I just want to vomit. And this person writing these comments, it just tipped me off. It just, it was, that's the wrong phrase. It, it is like a straw that broke the camel's back. I'm sick of the stupid people in this country. The superficial, shallow, empty-headed idiots in this country who judge a person's value. I'm sorry, Trump is a prime example of this mentality that has infested America. They judge people because of what they look like. A woman has no value if she's not a little hottie. She's got to be a hottie. Sorry. And if she isn't beautiful, she has no value. He can, it's okay to call a woman. I mean, this man himself will call a, 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 and has called overweight people or, or not so beautiful women names. Gee, that's just what I want running my country. A man who will call people names. I just can't believe that he is even still in the running. 
I had very little opinion, a very low opinion of the GOP to begin with, but now it's completely, I'm sorry, the GOP is going to kill our country. The Republican Party, they would rather have that piece of shit running this country than have a Democrat running this country. In my opinion, that makes the entire Republican Party fucking worse. The worst thing in this country right now, between Christianity, which so many Republicans are Christians, and the Republican Party, I think these two things are what is destroying this country. Anyway, I really, I'm having a rant. I'm angry. I'm angry that these kind of people have bullied other older, like women over over 30. I guess women over 30, at that point, they're just too old. They have no value anymore. The moment a woman is no longer young and beautiful, she has no value anymore. Or if a woman's nose is a certain size, she doesn't have any value. Or if she has a mole, she has no value. Or if she's overweight, she has no value. Yeah. Or if you're not a Christian, you have no value. Or if you're not a Republican, or if you don't think exactly the same way as this person over here, you have no value. Or if you're not white, you have no value. Or if you're not straight, you have no value. It's like black and white thinking all over this country. If you're not this, you deserve to die. If you're not this, like, like the pastor who actually approved of the Orlando shooting because the people who were killed were gay. Yeah, they were gay, so they deserve to die. Yeah, good good going, shooter. You, you got rid of a bunch of perverts from the planet. Good going. Funny thing, I look at the shooter as, as the abomination. I look at the shooter, who a man who would take a gun and shoot a whole bunch of innocent people who did absolutely nothing to him, dead, take their lives from them. I look at him as the abomination. I look at his wife who knew that he was going to do it and did nothing because she's a, she's a cowed Muslim who's afraid to speak out because she's just a woman. I look at her and I, and I think, not an abomination, but really pretty useless. She's been so fucking brainwashed by the cult that she has no self-respect and she, and she has no mind of her own. She's a woman. She has to follow her man. Walk, walk a few steps behind him and don't look him in the face. Yay, Islam! What a great religion! Yeah, let's let's put our little children, our little girls, in in I dream of genie costumes, and and tell them that that's how women should dress. And if they don't dress that way, oh, they're not modest. They're they're wanting horrors. And everybody who doesn't dress like a Muslim is a whore and deserves to be raped. She's asking for it. So these men who have never had any reason to, to learn self-respect go into European countries and see women who aren't dressed like I Dream of Genie and they rape them because they can't control themselves. Because, you know, we have this, this thing going on. I'm sorry, I have very little respect for this woman who has that culture, who probably didn't say anything to her husband because, you know, she's just a woman and she's not gonna, she doesn't want to upset her. If she shows defiance, he, he has a right to beat her. It says so right in the Quran. So she kept her mouth shut and because of that, 40 some people died, almost 50 people died. She kept her mouth shut and all these people died. So yeah, I have very little respect for the wife. And I have zero respect for the piece of shit that killed those people. And I think he's the abomination. But what a funny country where we have people walking around like this pastor who are actually cheering the guy who killed a bunch of innocent people. Why? Oh, that's right, because they are attracted to people that you're not attracted to. So they deserve to die. Yeah. You know... I grew up at a different time where people, where life actually had value. It's true, life had value. There was a TV show I used to like to watch called Emergency, and if you go back and watch Emergency now, it's really interesting to see how the paramedics and the firemen and the police in that show and the doctors and nurses treat the victims. 
in the various rescues that happen in the show. They treat them like human beings. They treat them like they have value. They treat they they sh they do their best to to keep intact their integrity and their dignity. Any more? No. If you if you're not if you're not rich, you don't have value. If you can't afford the surgical procedure, you just don't get to have one. If you can't afford to go to the ER, you just don't get to go to the ER. If you can't afford the ambulance, you just don't get to go to the hospital. In fact, back when the emergency was made, ambulances were part of fire were, were part of the fire department and they were free. So anybody in a in a situation where they might die or were or critically hurt or even just a little hurt would get to go to the hospital and get treated. And there wouldn't be an 800 to a $2,000 bill in the mail a, a week later from the ambulance company. Ambulances used to be free for all people. Now, somebody gets in a car accident and they break their leg and they're poor. Maybe they can't go to the hospital because they can't afford the ambulance. Yeah, because money is more important than human life in this society. And what you look like, or what religion you are, or your age, or whatever, your weight, that's what matters. The fact that you're a, a unique and amazing, living, intelligent creature doesn't matter. Ah, whatever. I mean, anymore, people don't get upset if some if somebody dies. There has to be a bunch of people who die before people even take notice. And then you have to point out that there were children that were killed because some some sometimes you can't even get people to be flustered about a mass mass murder. It has to be a mass murder that had some children die. Then some people might be upset because of it. Other people, maybe not even that. Whatever. You know, I think I'll go online instead and insult somebody for, for being older and having a big nose in a mall. Yeah. We have, we have all this shit going down in our country. Lots of atrocities. Lots of, lots of really ridiculous things like older women or not so beautiful women being humiliated in bathrooms because, gee, they just don't look like a woman enough so they get to be humiliated in public bathrooms just for needing to go I'm sorry but have you seen a transgendered person I have they usually look more attractive than a lot of women so attacking women who are plain or big or whatever older you're just looking for a reason to discriminate against somebody who isn't beautiful because I'm sorry women who are not beautiful are just second class. I don't know, I'm not a man. Maybe it's true for men too. Maybe unattractive men have the same kind of problems. They're second class. They don't have as much value. Anyway, just pissed me off. I, I'm not going to let people bully me off YouTube though. I, I have been t just ridiculed my entire life for not being beautiful enough and I just roll my eyes. I don't give a fucking damn what people think about what I look like anymore because I understand that I'm a valuable person. I'm a person of worth and I feel like I have something to contribute and I feel like my opinion has value and I have just as much right to it as anybody else. I don't go to people's channels and attack them for their looks. I've never in my entire life, in fact, ever attacked somebody for their looks or their age. Funny, I've managed to go almost, well, I don't know how old I'll get to live to be, but I'm 53 years old. 53 years old! I've managed to go 53 years without attacking somebody else for what they look like, or what they weigh, or what color they are. And I managed to survive. Somehow I managed to get through my life without doing that. Wow! I 
I guess I don't understand why some people feel that need because I never did I've never had that need I've managed to survive just fine without it and I had a pretty low self-esteem too but I never went around putting other people down to make myself feel better anyway in my opinion that makes me a person of worth and no stupid twit who doesn't even have the guts to show what their face looks like is going to change my opinion of myself but damn it scares me what Trump is doing it scares me what is happening in my country and what I see this mentality that I see taking over this country making it actually socially acceptable to be rude and mean and cruel and ridicule people and attack people and pull them out of bathrooms and humiliate them I'm starting to think I'm trying to think there's a there's a there's a there's an episode in Battlestar Galactica the new Battlestar Galactica very very first episode I think where uh, one of the main characters questions whether humans even deserve to continue to live human society does it even deserve to continue to live? My feeling is if we continue with this mentality, if this mentality continues to infest our societies, no, I don't think our, our species deserves to live. I think our species is ugly and disgusting if this is what it becomes. And that's another thing, the attitude toward our planet. I saw a thing the other day about, about Gee, should we should we try to dis, should we try to get uh, bee bee killing pesticides taken off the market? Because this these are all the foods that we would not have if the bees died. That's what the ad said. These are all the foods that we would have to go without if all the bees died. Do you know what the bees do? They pollinate. They spread. They allow the plants to pollinate. You know they spread so the plants basically seeds produce fruit and and vegetables and all the stuff that we need to survive if there are no bees i don't think there will be really very much at all on this planet and i think just pointing out what certain foods we're going to go without is really pathetic will we have food at all and will other animals on this planet have food will there be grass for animals to graze and, and leaves for animals to eat and if the animals that need vegetation die then the animals that need to eat those animals that eat vegetation will also die so honestly I think humanity will be the cause of its own extinction between what we're doing to the planet and the mentality that is infesting our societies I honestly don't think that this that our species has much longer to live on this world and I'm very glad now that I never reproduced and I'm very glad now that my life is more than half over anyway I'm very I'm I, I got on this video I didn't know what I was gonna say I just I'm feeling very disgusted and scared with this whole Trump thing scared discouraged humiliated, embarrassed for my country, embarrassed. First time in my life where I have truly felt embarrassed to be an American. I am uh, absolutely convinced that the main source of hatred in the world is religion. And I think it should be religion treated with ridicule and hatred and contempt.